episode of Peace Sports Connected. I'm your host, Megan Van Petten, and today we have member Dr. Amy Ches with us. Welcome to the show, Amy. Thank you, Megan. It is a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what kind of doctor you are. <laughs> I'm an eye doctor. I'm an optometrist. Um, I've been in practice. Oh my goodness, I'm dating myself. I've been in practice for over 22 years, um, you know, in, in pretty much every mode of practice from taking care of, of little kids to helping um, F-35 Air Force pilots over at Luke Air Force Base. So um, just the whole gamut. I think I've seen about 80,000 patients so far, um, and that's developed kind of where to where I am today as an entrepreneur and as an eye doctor um, with that mission of just how can I find ways to help people? That's sort of what, what keeps me going. Well, yeah, when I first um, was introduced to you, I couldn't be more excited because we've never had an, um, a, a couple of eye doctors um, as members. And it's so perfect to talk about eye health and gaming. Um, can you tell us a little bit, bit about your journey? Absolutely. So um, if you want to go way back, uh, this is kind of a, an interesting, funny, funny little side story. Um, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a fighter pilot and I was too short by one inch. I went in for that, you know, evaluation and couldn't get there. I was tall enough, but not torso height enough to actually be a pilot. <laughs> so I decided to go into um, astronomy astrophysics. And when I got into that space, I absolutely detested telescopes and optics. I hated those courses. And so it was such a turn of events to go from I can't believe I hate optics to I'm going to be an optometrist for the rest of my life, just like that. Um, and that's kind of, you know, what occurred. I found that the thing that I, I detested the most and that I thought I didn't like, I applied in a different way and found purpose in doing that. So mm -hmm. fast forward, you know, 22 years in practice as an optometrist where I use lenses every day and different skills with, you know, nutrition, meditation, overall health and wellness, and how to achieve um, best vision and sleep making sure that people are healthy in their everyday lives. Um, I took all of that information and right before the pandemic hit, I found that I wasn't taking good care of myself. I wasn't drinking enough water because I'm like a toddler and I won't drink water. I don't like it unless I throw a bunch of junk into it as my husband, Tom calls them the little powder cancer sticks. He's like, they're, you're gonna glow if you keep drinking that stuff. <laughs> uh, but I, I just don't hydrate. And I thought, you know, I'm from Pittsburgh. Everything is short to the point, you know, very direct. And I, I realized that there, I have all this knowledge as far as, you know, adaptogens and nootropics and different ingredients that you can use to power through the day and achieve different benefits and objectives. If I could have hydration that infused those good, healthy ingredients, then I would drink water because it would have a purpose. It would taste good. It would smell good. It would feel good. It would give me a reason to drink something throughout the day. And that's how I started developing beverages. I couldn't find what I wanted in something that fit what I was looking for as a professional woman. Well, I don't have a lot of time and I'm not going to carry around a bunch of supplements with me all day. It's just not going to happen. So how can I use that power of nature and infuse that into hydration in a way that's healthy for me, serves a purpose and would actually help others. So getting beyond those four walls where I can only see 15, 20 people a day, I wanted to take that knowledge base and expertise and do something fun and exciting in a way that could help more people do what they do better, especially in front of digital screens. So that process probably started about two and a half, three years ago. We developed the prototype product, got some feedback, and then um, that's a whole other you know, journey as far as how did we get into you know, gaming and esports, and and that came from some really interesting, you know, aha moments and um, some friends, some people in the industry that came to us and said, "Hey, you guys are onto something." Yeah, and you know, it's such a huge platform to um, share about your bigger calling. You know, we, we're helping a lot of people. You know, starting with great research with the gamers. You know, and um, I know you've established some great partnerships, but I think we've all experienced a higher degree of eye strain during COVID, and so people are a lot more aware of their eye health. You know, um, who would have thought? you wouldn't need an eye exam for certain things, but you would need a dental exam. It seems to me it would be the same, you know, 
on the same level. And I spoke to you and your, your husband um, about this in the past, that it just makes sense that you have, per, you know, your, your, your past eye exam and your past dental, you know, all of these things that, um, that are just basic. Um, yeah. I remember when I first started this show, I was, and I, I think I shared this on our last show. I rewatched myself and noticed my eyes were making very strange expressions and they were just simply strained. And that's where, you know, we heard about the 10, 10, 10. So yes, a little bit about that. Absolutely. You know, 20 years ago, we noticed when people were increasing their street, their screen time, that they had eye strain and fatigue. It was even lasting into the next day, into the next morning. And we called it computer vision syndrome. And it was mm -hmm. migraines, headaches, eye fatigue, blurred vision, all of these things that were happening in front of screens. And there was some research done, um, I believe it was out of the University of Iowa with their electrophysiology department. And what they wanted to do was quantify for eye doctors when someone feels eye strain, what exactly is that? What does it mean to you and why do you care as an as a doctor you know like let's quantify what this patient is experiencing so that you understand how important it is to treat it and to um, take it seriously and when they did the research on eye strain and eye fatigue the equivalent to those eye muscles was walking 50 miles 50 miles so when someone experiences that fatigue at the end of the day those muscles walked 50 miles would you ever in a million years, go out and just walk 50 miles without any prep, without any recovery, without any thought about how you prepare for that properly so that you don't injure yourself. It's not like eye strain is going to hurt you, but it surely doesn't feel good. And it definitely affects your performance and your productivity in, in an alarming way, whether it's for work or for play, for esports, for being on Zooms all day. You know, there's just certain things that we can do. So we came up with um, first, making sure that someone doesn't have uh, an uncorrected error or prescription that's causing more strain in the system, that's kind of like ground floor. We know that when there's an error in the optics, the body tries to fix it and it can't, but the brain will keep sending a stimulus. Like, can't you fix that? Can't you fix that? Can't you fix and that? And that's why pain is so good, right? I mean, really, yeah. like <laughs> for those of you that are not watching, I have my readers on today, which I never wear, but I'm experiencing eye strain. And, you know, it's thank you. Okay, let's go get a checkup, <laughs> right? Yes. And it, it's, it's, let's make sure we make it easy for the body rather than difficult for the mm -hmm. body. Yes. And one of the, the tools was, you know, every few minutes, look away for a few seconds. So you could say the 10, 10, 10, every 10 minutes, look 10 feet away, 10, 10 seconds, or the 20, 20, 20 rule, every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. And the reason that's so important is that whenever you're looking at a screen, whether it's you know a computer, laptop, desktop, phone, doesn't matter, your eye muscles have to turn in. And some of us are really good at stopping on target. A lot of us aren't, we're kind of sloppy on how we do that up, down, side to side. If you keep forced in that same position with those muscles, it's like going to the gym with those same muscles for hours on end and not giving them a break between sets. Nobody would do that if you were working out. So your eye muscles, you have to think of it like you need those recovery moments between sets, whether it's a 10, 10, 10 or a 20, 20, 20, you want to make sure that you take that pause. And when you look far out at distance, it lets the eye muscles turn back into a neutral position so that they're not like overstimulated. And that's one of the causes of that eye strain. Fast forward, probably about five years ago or so, they began to make that link probably closer to eight years they began to make that link between that computer vision syndrome that we started seeing before with blue light overexposure. And the biggest driver of that being your digital screens, but that it's also coming from smart TVs and high efficiency light bulbs and all these other places that we're getting bombarded with high energy blue light. And that that's a real cause of where that eye strain, fatigue, um, migraines are coming from and blurred vision. So they're beginning to connect some of those dots, not just on how someone feels, but also how that impacts their sleep wake cycle or their circadian rhythm. And that blue light can throw off quite a bit of things in our bodies that we need to kind of go through that normal 
sunrise to sunset phase that we're supposed to do as human beings, we start bombarding ourselves with all that extra blue light. And it's a lot more than just computer vision syndrome and blur vision and headaches that that throws off. It actually affects systems throughout the body. Interesting. So in the middle of the night, if you pick up your phone to check the time, you're exposed to blue light, which is the interruption of the sunrise sunset cycle. So tell us a little bit about the circadian rhythm drink formula that you've created called Sly. Yes. So I'm, I'm no different than anybody else who's listening and, and watching this where like we're always tempted to pick up our screens. I mean, we, we are connected in this digital world and we aren't always good about putting things away and putting things on night shift. So, you know, what can we do to mitigate that damage and kind of help support that natural sleep-wake cycle? And what disrupting that cycle does is pretty much tell your body it's daytime when it's not daytime. So first thing is you don't want to, your body needs to have about four hours to produce melatonin when you're off of those screens. So if you finish being on a computer at eight o'clock at night, you're not going to start ramping up enough melatonin to get to sleep, the real sleep that you need to start recovering until midnight. If you're gaming at midnight and you think you're going to bed at one o'clock, no, you're not. You're going to bed at four or 5 a.m., whether you you realize it or not. So seeing that problem in practice and applying that to gaming because of our connections and partnerships in the industry, who our partners have been in gaming for over 25 years and have you know, brought Guitar Hero, you know, Rock Band, PUBG, uh, Rocket League, launched these games worldwide. So they understand the needs of gamers and came to us and said, go talk to gamers. Let's survey. Let's figure out where their pain points are. What's really going on? When are they gaming? What happens after they're gaming? What are they drinking while they're gaming? And what benefits do they really want that they can't find? And that's what drove us to figure out which ingredients would be beneficial for gamers, what dosages we would need to be effective, and how we can protect that sleep-wake cycle or circadian rhythm by choosing formulations that, number one, don't have caffeine. We don't need that type of stimulation in the evening. Number two, um, mental and and physical health really depends on stress management. That's a big driver of inflammation and other issues. So how can we use adaptogens and nootropics that are really important, special, natural plant-based ingredients that can have really great positive effects on the body? Even when you're really excited, engaged in, in gaming and your anxiety and adrenaline go up, you need to have something that kind of softens that and mitigates that so your body can handle that stress in a positive way rather than in a negative way. And we chose those ingredients to help develop our product Sly so that it can help chill you out. So we have a a line for chill that has all kinds of natural healthy ingredients and adaptogens, vitamins, minerals to help, you know, let the body deal with stress, calm down, hone in and focus, start repairing itself. And then Sly Dream that pretty much is designed to give you two milligrams of melatonin, extra ingredients, magnesium, biotin to help rebuild so that you can get into recovery. But most important, get to sleep, the good sleep that you need fast after you've been on screen. So not just your eyes, but your entire body can help repair itself and recover. Because if you don't do that, you're in a constant state of stress. And that's terrible for physical and mental health and well-being overall, but even more so with visual performance and um, your hand-eye coordination, your physical endurance when you're gaming, especially. So that's kind of how we develop those products Uh, with Sly is going straight to gamers and saying, what is everybody getting wrong in beverage and what can we do better? And then we went so far as to actually bring gamers and streamers into the lab to help us create those final formulations together, which even in COVID, we were still able to do that, which was amazing. That is amazing. I personally love the grab and go um, for ease too. Um, I tend to pull out of my refrigerator a beverage, then mix a beverage, even tea. You know, I will grab the tea in the refrigerator before I'll make a cup of tea. Um, and I'm like you, I I like um, I like a little flavor in my beverage, though I drink the water as a discipline. Um, water is just 
you know, it having it be enhanced is nice. I mean, let's just be honest. <laughs> Life's too short. We have to have some fun, Megan. I mean, that's what it comes down to. You might as well enjoy the experience if we can, yeah. right? You know, um, it always surprises me when people drink water like at dinner. Cause that's like the one where I'm like, forget about it. I've been drinking <laughs> water all day. You know, I would like an iced tea or a soda or something. So I, I personally can't wait to try. Um, so I, I know there's four flavors and yes. the, the, so the there's chill and there's dreams. So for the morning chill, you mm -hmm. would try the mango or the citrus, which is so perfect for wake up or actually you could probably have the chill anytime, right? Because you can, even if you're gaming at 10 o'clock at night, that's what's so unique about our products is as like my 12 year old no daughter. Yeah. There's yeah. no caffeine and there's nothing bad for you. No chemicals, no preservatives, none of the nasty stuff that your body doesn't need. Yes. You know, people in the beverage industry thought we were crazy. I'll be honest. And we heard this time and time again, they said, gamers don't care. Just put preservatives in it, put cheap ingredients in it, make it a powder. And when we said, no, we want to make it convenient and ready to drink. Our, even our formulator said, ah, gaming community doesn't care about health. And we're like, that's bunk. They still have this mindset that huh. every gamer is sitting in a basement, is 14 years old and eating Cheetos and drinking you know, high energy soft drinks and, and things like that. And they're just, you know, slamming these energy drinks that are going to blow out their heart, you know, by the time they're 30 and that that's all gamers want. And we're like, no, wait a second. Average age of gamer is in their mid thirties, has a house, has a kid. And guess what? They do care about their health. They actually want to live long, healthy, enjoyable lives. They don't want to feel like crap. They don't want to wake up feeling terrible. They actually want to enjoy what they're doing. And when they're done, go on enjoying what they're doing in life. So we sort of pushed back against the industry a little bit and said, no, we don't think so. We think health and wellness and mental health and wellness is important to gamers. And we're not going to cheapen up what we do in order to make those big beverage margins and, you know, be this mass producer company that, that cares more about that than what people really want and need and appreciate. So um, our partner, Doug Kennedy from Studio Wildcard came to us and he said, you know, people have this, this perception of gamers is totally wrong. I mean, way back when he, him and his wife, Tracy launched dance pad in the early 2000s. And when everyone else was going towards just being stationary, they went towards being active with gaming and showing that you can lose a ton of weight. You burn yeah. a ton of calories when you're gaming. There's a lot of awesome things that you can do. Don't have this mindset that gamers don't care about health. That is a total misperception. So we went all in with that. And sure enough, in our surveys of gamers and streamers, they said exactly the same thing. They said, don't give us more caffeine. We don't need any more like of, of that stuff. Don't give us right. chemicals. We're not interested in chemicals. We want things that are real, are good for us and do what they say that they're going to do. And as doctors, that's an easy um, request where we actually feel good about fulfilling the products we put out there. We care about what people put in. It has our name on it. It's part of our lifelong mission to help people. So we want to make sure that what we put out there in Sly is actually good and serves a good, healthy purpose for people, um, especially gamers. And, and, you know, we believe that gamers do care about themselves and their lives. Uh, they're not just, you know, that misperception that, that people have out there. Well, you know, um, what a calling after seeing 80,000 plus patients and really taking eye health to a whole new level, we sure are so lucky to have you and Dr. Tom, you know, um, be part of our world and make it a better place. I can hardly wait to try. I'm going to order all four. I, I am a, I'm a, I'm a grab and go. I, I love, you know, any way of improving health and lifestyle. Um, this, this, this is just amazing. And you've formed a lot of uh, great relationships since attending esports next and participating in our elevator pitch. And we're so grateful having you as a, as a member and such a great spokesperson for our industry. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the partnerships that you've formed or uh, as it, I mean, I've heard some rumblings, but I haven't seen the press releases yet. Are you allowed to talk about anything? <laughs> I'm allowed to talk about it. Press right releases are, are coming soon, but you know, first, first off, um, I've, 
you know, been in, in, in my field as, as an eye doctor for over 20 years, and I have never experienced events like I have with, um, you know, ESTA. I think going to Chicago was such a important event for us to attend. The experience with Sharon Gill as far as, you know, coaching and mentorship, the collaboration you would think that the the elevator pitch competition was a competition, but it really wasn't. It was a right. collaboration. Exactly. We, we made friends. Like we still connect with people. We talk to people and we're all trying to figure out an angle in ways that we can support each other as entrepreneurs, whether it's in, you know, academics or whether it's in, you know, products and, and things like we're doing. There's just different lanes that we all sort of have, but everybody has the same mission of figuring out how we can make a positive impact in esports. And so when you have a aligned purpose, people just find each other. And, you know, this event in Chicago was amazing to do that. The elevator pitch competition was an incredible opportunity. And we formed not only partnerships, but friendships coming out of that. One would be with um, FitGamer. And FitGamer is an app they've acquired Cloud9 Training Grounds. So I'm going to be providing content and coaching in order to help raise awareness on sleep, the importance of sleep, maintaining a healthy circadian rhythm, all the visual aspects of being a better gamer. So I'm providing content for them. Um, we're going to be cross collaborating, you know, through Sly as well to help promote downloading their app so that not only it's just healthy products, but you can be, you have an opportunity with FitGamer to be a better player and a better person in all different aspects of life and their five pillars of health. So that's one partnership. And we're also working with, um, Fit Gamer in order to be on the Game Master reality show because they're the, the leading health and wellness sponsor. So that's kind of hot off the presses, um, but we will have a, a presence within the um, Game Master reality show and help further spreading that word about the importance of physical and mental health and a healthy circadian rhythm um, among gamers. So tremendous opportunity that's come from collaboration and partnership within the Esports Trade Association. It's just an unbelievable opportunity for people to connect with common purpose. What an incredible path that you've had. Um, and if people want to find you, obviously they can download the Fit Gamer app. Your beverage is called Sly. You'll be at Esports Next 2023 in August here in Chicago. You wouldn't miss the, we always call it the great big tent, like the family reunion. <laughs> One is. of these days, because because the Esports Trade Association is just everybody. Um, like the, you know, probably the, uh, what would be the optometry association, right? And then, and then you get into your specialties, right? Yes. But the, the big tent is, um, you really took advantage of the association and moved through really quickly. No doctors and medical um, schools do such a great job with early education with their students. So they understand the value of association. So that's been one of the most fun parts of this organization is uh, sharing with students like why you would be a member, uh, you know. Yes, it's rising tides. <laughs> yeah, rising tides lift all boats. You can accomplish so much more when you do these things collectively. And there's no better way to do that than part of an association. It's like this is how we get good things done as a community. So I'm just grateful for being a, a part of it. And, um, you know, thank you for mentioning, you know, Sly. If, if people do want to get a hold of me, their website is drinkonthesly.com. We'll be coming out with an app in two weeks and have, you know, pre orders and all of those things available. So things are moving quickly. Um, and if you need to reach out to me directly, you know, at, at Dr. Amy at intentbrands.com, feel free to do so. I'm, I'm someone who's here for, as an advocate, you know, for visual health, for sleep wake cycle, to help people in the gaming community. And I'm more than happy, you know, to um, engage and, and help people along the way. So if you need to reach out or would like to reach out, that's where you can find me. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. And if, for any of you that may have missed it, visit drinkonthesly.com and order your beverages. In two weeks, download the app. Dr. Amy, it's an absolute pleasure. It always is. And we'll hopefully be toasting and cheering very shortly. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> You're welcome. And that's another great episode of Esports Connected. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.